Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Erin and I do mostly budgeting videos like the one you're about to see here. If you are new here, I do mostly budgeting videos, as I said, um, and I do use real numbers. So if that is something you enjoy watching, um, I would love if you stuck around and subscribed. Um, and for those of you who have been watching for a while, this video is basically for you. This is a little thank you from me to you, and I will explain um, what's all involved. It, that is if you love printables, which I do. This video has been a long time coming. I've been working on this kind of behind the scenes and... <clears throat> You know, getting my design skills a little bit more finely tuned uh, because I really, I, I really was lacking in that category. I had to really um, figure some things out before I could get my printables to look the way I wanted them to. So this is an example of something that I created. I believe I created this in Word, if you can imagine that. Um, this was a while ago that I made this one. And I just did a table and it looks like Excel, but it's not Excel. Um, I'm much better at Excel than I am at Word. But honestly, this is something that I know most people, if they were going to create something like this, maybe typically use something like InDesign or um, Illustrator or something like that uh, for the components of it and then put it together. Um, but anyways, I had to figure some things out because I wanted my printables and my budget book to look a certain way. So then I kind of graduated to this look, which I am in love with, and I'm still using this, except for me, I muted the colors down just a bit. So this is very colorful and vibrant. I think it's fun to look at. And I think when things are fun to you know, visually appealing, then it makes you more inclined to want to use them. At least that is the way it is for me. Um, so I really like this. But I decided, again, just to neutralize the colors just a bit for my own purposes. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. And before I get into it, I put everything into my budget planner. This is my A4 or letter size. And this is a tool notebook cover. And I did have this completely filled with a happy planner, big uh, planner, and some little printables here and there. Uh, so what I've done is I've gone ahead and replaced the first part of the year um, more than the first quarter. So for January, February, March, and April, I have my new printables in here. And I'm going to show you what they look like. They are um, condensed by month. So I'm going to explain why that is important, I guess. So I'm going to open this up. And my light is in the way. <laughs> Oh my gosh, if you guys could see like how tiny my desk area is here, you would just be like, oh my gosh, how are you doing it? All right, so this is all the way in. That's about as zoomed out as I can get. Okay, so this is the design that I used. And then of course I put my own channel name up here, budget and planning, and then the year down here. Nothing too fancy or um, complicated. And then this opens up to a month on two pages. And these are some colors that I chose and I did like this watercolor background to it. And I didn't put any important dates on these like pre-printed, but I did have to go in and manually insert all the numbers. So you guys cannot even imagine and how many times I had to go back and redo it because I screwed up. So that was a huge frustration. I wasted so much paper printing these out because I would look at it so often on the computer and it looked right. And then I print it out and I'd be like, what the heck is going on? That's not right. So each section has, each month has a month on two pages. So each month is technically 12 pages. So this is the um, first part. Then you open it up and you have a monthly budget schematic. So this is your overall snapshot. So you can do this as a forecast or you can actually do this as you go, as you work your way through the month. So there's a section for your bills, your income savings, total monthly expenses, a little receipt, which is just a recap of everything, and then your variables down here. So same thing like I've been using um, most recently, but again, the color scheme is just a little bit different. This is about as bright as it gets is on these paycheck budget sheets. And I did want to put like a pop of blue just because I think it makes it look nice, but these, um, you'll get five of these in each month. So sometimes if you get paid, let's say every Friday, 
then you'll have enough for every payday that month. And some months you'll only need four. Maybe you'll only need two. I don't know. Um, but I like being more covered for things than having, having to go back and like, you know, kind of piece things together because I didn't have enough space. So there's five of these paycheck budget sheets and you'll see income sources, date source amount, fixed expenses, variables, savings, and your little receipt for the payday. So you'll get five of those. Then you open up and then you have a whole sheet for sinking funds. So this is something else that you can populate throughout the month. Now, I don't have this many sinking funds, so I can do a repeat as I add things throughout the month or, you know, whatever the case may be. And um, this line is here and I had a heck of a time with this, but before I actually sell these, I will fix that. But right now I'm leaving it as it is because it doesn't bother me that much, but... <laughs> Uh, I tell you, it's just, it's been a trial. It has been a trial. Um, but anyways, so muted colors again, I think it looks really nice. I think that it's very functional and I wanted something that would work for me, uh, because I know that doing budget on paper can be sometimes very complicated and very cumbersome, especially if you have to draw out all your schematics or it just feels sometimes like a really huge chore that you may not want to just get into. And so with this all being printed out the way I do it, um, you can tweak it for yourself or you can adopt this system because I think it works really, really well. I've been doing my budget channel um, since 2019, I think. Um, I think I did my first videos because it was all about debt. I was in such debt. Um, and so, you know, that being said, you know, if you go back and look at some of the archived videos, you'll see that, you know, things can get better. Um, so there's never any despair when it comes to budgeting. There's just changes. No despair, only changes. Um, so that's just something to keep in the back of your mind. Um, but I also have a section here on monthly goals. So you have a budget, health, home, and work. I know these things aren't necessarily related, but sometimes they are. You may want to create a gym membership and that's gonna come out of your budget. Or you may want to get new countertops in your kitchen, you know, whatever the case may be. Um, and I think work is totally related to budget. I think that budgeting in itself, depending on what your system is, as long as you have a system that you're working, it's work. I mean, there's just no way around it. All right, so there's that section. And on the back, just to round it all out, is a notes page that I created. So on the bottom of these, you have my logo and everything. And then anytime I'm going to give away free printables, I'm going to put my name on them just because I just feel like that's the right thing for me to do. Um, and then you get into February and it's a complete repeat, except you have February's calendar on two pages and so on and so forth. So what I've done is I have provided January's and January comes with the cover. As you can see here, this will be January's cover, whereas February, March, and April have this cover. Okay. So you'll see that each section will have 12 pages. They're all identical with the exception of the month on two pages. And I have January, February, March, and April in separate files to download. So if you are interested and you want to grab these, I'm only going to have these available for free until this coming Friday. So that gives everybody about six full days um, to cycle through and catch a video where I talk about this. I'm gonna mention it in the rest of my videos, but I'm not gonna headline it in the rest of the videos um, just because I want this to be a thank you for the people who are constantly here, leaving comments, watching videos, showing support, leaving all kinds of positivity and all that. So I wanted to make sure that I put this out there first for anybody who wants it. And after that, I'm just going to be stocking um, my Etsy or I may just do some sales um, privately without going through Etsy because Etsy becomes kind of expensive and it can be cumbersome. I don't know. Well, actually, I think I'm going to transfer my information. Uh, so I'm not sure how I'm going to do that actually, um, but I'm going to think about it. But I am going to have more printables available, more monthly budgets, and they're not all going, going to look like this. And like I said, if I am selling them, I'm going to remove my name from it because, you know, not everybody wants to advertise if you're also paying, you know, and that totally makes sense. So I'm going to put down here, 
just so we can budget together today exactly what I put down on my previous one. And just, you know, as a recap, in case you missed that video, you can see how this works. I mean, not that it isn't self-explanatory, it is, but it's so simple and so user-friendly. And I'll tell you, it took me, have you guys ever heard that term? Like people who are looking for planner peace. And I think that was how I felt about my budget planner or my budget printables or my notebooks. I never found the one true system that I felt like I could stick with long term. There was always something wrong with it. You know, something was always just a little bit off. Not off enough that I would totally give up on it, but it's like I couldn't quite figure it out. And I think it's the same principle. You know, people who are looking for a planner piece, they're just looking for that one perfect planner that suits them. And in fact, I have made my perfect planner and it's very similar to what you're seeing here. And I'll share that with you as well, but I love it. The weeks are laid out exactly how they work for me. And I'm so happy with it. I can't wait to start using it like ASAP. It's just going to make life so much easier. And I don't know, I'm just really, really looking forward to it. If you can really, really look forward to a planner, <laughs> but I do, I do. I don't know. Um, are you guys kind of like I was when I was younger? I used to love school supplies. I used to love um, school supply time of year, um, back to school. And as an adult, I I still do. You know, I'm still with the the folders and the notebooks and all that kind of stuff every summer. As soon as like Walmart and Target, they start putting it all out. I'm back there, like I have a kid I'm sending to school, and no, it's just me. <laughs> I'm just looking for stuff that I can stock my own little home office or my work office with. And um, I don't think I'm ever going to quite get over that. One of the biggest thrills for me every year was getting a brand new Trapper Keeper. And for some of you, I may be um, really dating myself, but we had what was called a Trapper Keeper and it was by Mead. And there were different designs and kind of like lunch boxes back then. There were, you had different designs and characters and things like that. But Trapper Keepers was more about, I think, design. I don't remember them having like characters. Um, so I would love to get a new Trapper Keeper. And I remember the last one that I got, they were, maybe they were, I don't know if they were phasing them out or if I was phasing out of that mode, but it looked like Mars. It was so weird. It had like this taupey purple background and it was definitely, um, it was definitely a planet and it had like that kind of red sky to it. But yeah, I think it was like Mars and what an odd choice. And I probably got the only thing that they had left, but some others that I had before were just, um, I don't know. I, they were awesome. I just love them so much. And then you would fill them up with your folders. And then they closed by Velcro. And um, you just felt super organized. Like that was like the cue. Like, okay, school is starting. We've got our trapper keepers. We're ready. Um, <laughs> I kind of feel that way now when I'm at Michael's or something and I'm, you know, looking for my new planner. And when I find it, you know, for the coming year, I'm like, okay, all right, things are good. Like we're ready to go. We're clean start. You know, it's just, I don't know. Some things never change, I guess. All right, so here's how my paycheck budget looks. You can see I filled out what I could and needed to fill out um, for this time. I didn't fill out any savings because I just didn't do that um, recently from these checks. So you can see I have some things to pay off, um, some expenses and stuff, a really big expense actually. Uh, but once that's done, oh, hopefully we can start pocketing some money and you know, just getting ahead because as far as savings go, aside from what you guys see me doing with my sinking funds and, a, you know, a little bit that we have in the bank, I would really like to grow our savings. So we're just becoming that age, you know, where, you know, we're, we're not investing in our retirement, although we should. Uh, we're not investing in any investments and we should be. Um, so I think that that would be nice to get to that point. But first, I got to get all my stuff paid for and I got to get, you know, our mortgage under control. And, and I just have other things that are 
that are just taking their place in line ahead of things. Uh, but anyways, so that is what my new printable looks like. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for spending some time with me. Um, I'm really excited about it and I will be sharing with you um, my yearly planner that I have created and I'll probably do that going forward as long as I can. I'm going to create a, a couple different versions and I'm going to resize them too. One for the big um, happy planner and one for the um, classic size because I think most people have a cover that they can use and discs that they can use. For me, the disc system works the best. I contemplated putting this into a binder, like a three ring binder. And I was like, you know what? I just love the discs. I like the way they look. I like the way they function. I have metal ones on here. They're very smooth and it just works for me. So anyway, I'm going to keep it going like that. So thank you for watching. Get your printables if you want them. If you don't want them, no big deal. Um, but if you do, get them while they're free. And um, I'm going to be doing more freebies as we go. This isn't the only time I'm going to be doing it. Um, and the reason why I'm doing January through April is because if you're like me, you like to back plan. You like to make sure that if you start a new system, you have all the months ready to go. I can't, it's hard for me to start a system you know, like when I'm already into the year without making sure that I cover January, February, March, so on and so forth as well. I like to have everything like just so and, um, you know, you guys know what I'm talking about. But anyway, um, so that's why I'm offering all four of them in case you want a back plan. I think it's a great idea. You know, it's it's always nice to have everything in one place and look very uniform and make sense to you and be very organized. So um, again, thanks for watching. Thank you for all your support. Um, and like I said, keep checking back because I'm going to be announcing more freebies. And also when you're able, if you're interested, to buy any of my printables in the future. And um, as always, I hope I see you guys in my next video. Take care.